What? Yeah. What? what? It's Amber Ruffin, our webby host. You look so beautiful. I love this heart sequence. Thank you. We go together a little bit. Sparkle. How does it feel to be hosting the Webby Awards? It feels fun yes. and exciting. They really just let me goof around. Nice. So it feels silly, I guess. That's how it feels. Nice. So what's um, one of your favorite moments that happened on the internet this year? Oh, geez. You know what? I guess my favorite moment was like those couple of, me well, there were a million moments, so I don't know. But my favorite moment this second was when we were wondering who bit Beyonce. Do you remember that? Yes. What? I died. Yeah. I could have died. So I'm a bear and I had to know. Uh -huh. And then I like kept checking to see if we had found out who bit her. Uh -huh. That was bad behavior. We found out who bit her? We found out. Oh, we found out. Okay, good. I don't want to say who it was, oh, uh -huh. but we did find out. <laughs> I'll whisper it to you. Oh my God. <laughs> well, we're really excited to have you host tonight. Um, we're excited to see you on stage, Yay. so get in there. Okay. And thank you. Thank you. Uh, the Webbies have a great long tradition of uh, celebrating really cool innovation, so uh, we're proud to be a part of it. Well, I, when I think about the internet's power and social media, I think about human beings um, trying to do better for themselves. So we have our CEO and executive director here of the Webby Awards. How are you? Hey, Jason. Hi, Jason. So what are you most excited about tonight? We have some special surprises that we're really excited about. I'm excited for all the five word speeches. Nice. So can you talk about some of our um, special achievement winners? Uh, yeah, we are honoring Mitchell Baker here tonight, a Lifetime Achievement Award. She is the woman who really pioneered the Firefox browser, which made the web like not suck for a really long time. For my little web series that I do on Netflix. Yeah. Little, little, yeah. How does it feel to be the Webby Best Actor? Um, it feels good, you know? It feels good. I mean, I don't really think of myself as like a web series, but it's, I guess we are, so, you know, it feels good. I mean, it's very nice to have people invite you to awards and stuff, and so it's great. Nice. And you interact a lot with your fans on social. I do. What's your favorite uh, fan moment? Something that stood out to you. Oh, God, I mean, everything, you know? Like, they, when the show drops, people come up with such ridiculous things, and they're always asking me for ridiculous favors, of which I'm, like, doing a lot of. Like, I took, like, senior photos with a high school gal who wanted me in her senior pictures. Like, I'm going to officiate some couple's wedding in September. Like, I tend to get myself involved in stupid things with my fans on the Internet because I should not be in control of my own life. But unfortunately... I am. So what, what was the, your favorite thing to happen on the internet in 2018? Wow, my favorite <laughs> entire thing to happen on the internet? Anything. There's a cat video out there that I love. Uh -huh. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Well, get in there, uh, have fun, and we'll see you on stage. Thank you. And congratu can I borrow your jacket? Yeah. Like, just for my yeah, life? Of course. Congratulations. Chris Long. Oh, sorry. It's Jason from the Webbies. How's it going, Jay? So you're our Webby Athlete of the Year. Yes, best athlete on the internet, not in real life, but on, on the internet. Well, what does it feel to be here at the Webby Awards? It's fun. I, I don't know what to expect, really. I'm kind of fl I'm flying in blind and uh, going to meet some cool people, and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's a great show. Uh, what was your biggest? Mo what was one of the biggest moments for you that happened on the internet in 2018? Oh, in the inter on the internet in, t in 2018, uh, a lot of my best tweets probably didn't get the most retweets. That's the way I feel. I'd have to go back through it, honestly. But uh, anything I tweeted within 24 hours of winning the Super Bowl usually went pretty well. Yeah. And have you thought about your five-bit speech yet? I have thought a lot about it. I was thinking about it on the, on the way over in, on, in the car. I think it makes it fun. Yeah. Well, we're really excited to have you here. We're really excited to honor you with the Webby uh, Best Athlete. We'll see you inside. Have fun. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Slash Ebony. Just kidding, I'm your host, Amber Ruffin. Now, if you're wondering who I am, please don't do so out loud. I write for and am on Late Night with Seth Meyers, Comedy Central's Detroiters, and Drunk History. Y'all, let's start the 2018 Webby Awards. All right, there are three rules. First, don't act surprised. We already know who won, that is why you're here. Second, all acceptance
acceptance speeches must be only five words long. Yeah, that is an appropriate woo. Dang, y'all are good at wooing. And lastly, no nudity. For his amazing performance as Sheriff Hopper and for keeping the internet fun, I am delighted to present the Webby for Best Actor and the best horse thief that I know, David Harbour. <laughs> uh, net neutrality, you greedy dickheads! Yes, for breaking new ground with this Netflix show called My Next Guest Needs No Introduction, I'm thrilled to present the Webby Special Achievement Award to the only guy who hasn't seen Carpool Karaoke. It's, I want to say, Stephen Colbert's dad? Just kidding, it's David Letterman! Thank you. Tears of joy. For showing us that the internet doesn't just curate art, it's the medium itself, we're honored to welcome Special Achievement Webby Award winner, Twigs. Treat people kindly. Start now. For being funny and cool, we're psyched to honor Super Deluxe with the Webby for Best Web Personality. And here to accept the man is the man himself, the former president of Mexico, Vicente Fox. Jumped the wall to come. <laughs> thanks to the looks, thanks to my team at Centro Fox, and thanks, Donald, for your fucking wall. For showing physical and moral strength that will have a lasting and direct impact on future generations far off the field, we're proud to honor our Webby Athlete of the Year, Chris Long. Still collected my playoff checks. <laughs> the planet needed a win. You could call Steven Soderbergh a director the same way you could call Beyonce a singer. It's technically accurate, but only a fraction of the story. Webby Film and Video Person of the Year, Steven Soderbergh is an inventor and an innovator. <laughs> yeah. Find new doors, open them. It is my pleasure to honor Mitchell Baker with the Webby Lifetime Achievement Award. In my spotless exits, we will be When I am gone, at least I won't be. Demand better of the internet. It's okay, guys, you can sit down. Thank you. Gun violence is our experience. Cameron and I have a platform because of the tragedy that occurred at our school. But gun violence is an American epidemic that reaches far beyond the mass shootings that captivate America and the media. The March for Our Lives is a movement that is not just about the safety of privileged teens, but about protecting all Americans from flimsy gun laws that protect weapons, not children. We will not be dismissed by the government who aims to please the NRA instead of the people. We cannot back down because gun violence kills an average of 96 people a day. It's so many deaths that it can feel unbelievable. But it's an actual problem and we know how to solve it with stricter gun laws. You know, the, the day I was in the car on the way back from seeing my school get shot up, I thought two main things. One of them was private, but the other one was, you know, I've seen this before. I've seen this a lot of times. And there was a comfort that settled over me that, that was, okay, this is a school shooting. 
And that, that, that was what made me realize that something had to be different this time. We need to go right at this. We can't sit back. We need time to heal, but if we take time to heal, they're gonna forget about it. And then there's gonna be another one. And that's gonna be the hot media mass shooting of the month. We, we couldn't have that. And we have a spotlight that we try to use to shine on other com communities, communities with marginalized people, communities that people don't want to focus on, communities that deal with gun violence much more than Parkland, Florida, which for a long time was the safest city in Florida. So it's with that that I humbly introduce the young woman for whom I sing backup, Naomi Wadler. Disproportionately, victims of gun violence are women of color. Tonight, I ask each and every one of you to take a stand for them, to stand for their education, to stand against the violence these girls face at their schools that lead to their eventual victimhood. These girls matter. Please leave here tonight as warriors in the fight for common sense gun regulation. Use your platforms to keep this movement on the forefront of the internet. Stand as advocates, innovate as advocates, create as advocates. Amber, what are you doing? I found a great way to explain what blockchain is. Are you dressed as Sheila E? Yes, I am dressed as 80s drum superstar Sheila E. Why? To explain blockchain more clearly. Hit it! I'm blockchain, baby. I'm only trying to make you money. You wanna understand me, honey? To understand blockchain, you gotta know one thing. And that one thing is drum break! <gasps> For his amazing creative success with Netflix, and because I love him so much, I am so proud and honored to be here tonight to present Adam with the Webby Special Achievement Award. How about that fucking chicken? <laughs> Let's recognize you, our winners here tonight, have also answered that call. Your work challenges us to do the same thing. Mitchell Baker has worked for decades to define standards by which we interact with the web. Susan Fowler's simple but powerful wor words will improve the lives of an infinite number of girls and boys, women and men. Would I have thought to tell you about the women of ENIAC and Dorothy Vaughn if it wasn't for Susan and Mitchell? Naomi Wadler, John Barnett, Cameron Kasky, the students of Stoneman Douglas High School, Forest, Hill, Forest High School, Marshall County High School, and too many others with wisdom way beyond their years. They remind us that us, it isn't like this theoretical group of people out there. It's us. We're proud to present my friend, this forward thinker, the Webby Special Achievement Award to my brother, Jesse Williams. Showtime! Afraid? Okay. Do it afraid. And now on to our last award of the group. The 2018 Webby winner in the film and video sports category this year is the Players' Tribune for Book of Isaiah 2. The slow grind never stops. For serving up excellence across all platforms, we are honored to present the Special Achievement Webby to David Chang. MSG is good for you. It's my honor to present the 2018 Webby Best Actress to the superb Laura Linney. Kindness is not a weakness. Let's be clear, words matter, stories matter. 
for using her brave voice to make the internet industry and the world better and safer. Please welcome to the stage the 2018 Webby Person of the Year, Susan Fowler. Words can change the world. It's been a blast. I'm Amber Ruffin signing off.